Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be here today. I am at Be Sweet, located in Sautel. You guys, we are about to speak with iconic chef Barb. I am such a fan. I was low-key fangirling when I first talked to her on the phone the other day. And so let's just go inside. <laughs> Hi, I'm Barb Batiste. I'm the executive chef and owner of Be Sweet. So, Chef Barb, I'm so excited to be here today. It is truly an honor. Tell me about Be Sweet. Be Sweet um, started out as a catering company 11 years ago, and it turned into a lot of corporate catering. We um, had our small little dessert trucks. Well, before that, we rented a truck, and so kind of daily we would have to pay for that truck and it was really expensive because not only was it expensive to, to lease or to rent, it was desserts, you know, it has to be made fresh every single day. We didn't have a real busy day. It was kind of like, okay, well, it's a big loss for us. Right. And that's kind of how the bread pudding started for Be Sweet. And you also have another restaurant, Big Boy. We do. We have Big Boy, which is eight doors down from Be Sweet and um, it's a Filipino restaurant named after my late father. So to you, he would have been your uncle boy or your grandpa Aww. boy. It's kind of a nickname that's very popular in the Philippines. His real name was Angel. And so my dad passed away eight years ago. So he was able to see the little baby trucks that we have, our ice cream trucks that, you know, went around LA selling desserts. And he saw my commercial kitchen, but he never got to see the retail store. So, um, it, you know, it, it was just, it was tough because I wanted to have something that was kind of his legacy and all of the recipes and all the things that we serve at Big Bear are all my mother's recipes, everything that she made for him. I know that you guys are catering for the MLB, which is huge. <laughs> we are. I think we were talking earlier about that and just kind of thinking about what I do for them, you know, whether it's a daily thing, you know, sometimes I'll have a four day series, sometimes it's a two day series and I'll come home and I'll watch the game and I'm, I'm kind of blown away that, you know, just hours before that, I've made food for these athletes. And, and of course, when they win, it's even really yeah, you're <laughs> even like, cooler. Yes. Like, yeah, <laughs> I've done the right thing. Be Sweet's menu. Uh -huh. Talk to me about it. What, what's on there? There's a lot. Wow. I mean, our most popular thing right now on the Be Sweet menu is our bread puddings. There's, I think, I used to say I have over 50 flavors. I think I have over 60 flavors now. It's just, it, it's a warm pudding that we serve, and it usually has a topping or a drizzle or some sort of garnish that goes with whatever flavor it is. And, um, it's warm and it's it's comfort food, right? Yeah, and I always tell people dessert's a choice. You know, people say, "Well, I'm hang," you know, it's hangry, right? Oh, yeah, I'm, I, I get that hangry. way. Yeah, I get that way. I was like that today. Um, but you know, you have a choice after you eat dinner. The choice that people make to come into the store. I mean, I literally stand out in front of my store and wonder why people are standing there in this long line to to buy something that I've made. I mean. If that doesn't make you feel good, I, I really don't know what in, in life would, could make you feel any better. I'll start crying because it, it's it's definitely an emotional thing for me. It's been hard during COVID because we haven't had the crowd. We haven't been able to let people in to the store. And it's just most recently that we, we started doing that again. And, you know, to just be there or for people to come to me and say, My, I had that bread pudding or I had I had that cookie or that brownie or that pie um, and it was amazing. Or, you know, you'll read it on, on social media and it just, it just humbles you. Oh my gosh, I gotta hug you. <laughs> I gotta hug you. Oh my gosh. This is the halo with cookies and cream ice cream inside, literally fresh off the pan. Do I have something on my face? Cut. This is truthfully an experience. I'm eating it fresh inside of the kitchen. Okay guys, it is time. I already snuck in a little halo in the kitchen. Now that was a truly a special treat. I got to eat inside the kitchen. It was fresh, it was hot. But now I am here with the chocolate chip banana bread pudding. This is large, you guys. And the Thai tea a tres leches cake. And I love this sticker too. It says, be sweet. And then on the inside it says, stop reading this and eat your dessert. I'm going to go with the banana bread pudding because Chef Barb and I just spoke about it so much. Like it's gotta go into my mouth now. 
Insane. Insane. And the smell. Oh, it smells so good. It's, I'm getting a little bit of banana, but what's really coming through is the chocolate chips. Oh, I'll clean that. It, <laughs> okay, into the mouth. Oh my God. I'm, I need to eat more before I can describe. <laughs> I'm being selfish right now, you guys. It is so good. The consistency, it's warm, comforting. It's just so good and it's, it's dense, y'all. And it's just like this bread. I loved how Chef Barb said that. They used to make it out of old bread. Obviously now they don't have any leftovers. I mean, who would ever have leftovers at a place like the Sweet? But this is so flippin' good. I, I just like can't stop eating it. <laughs> mm. I mean, also too, this drizzle on the top, it's all the way through. It's not just like, you know, a little drizzle on top. No, no, no. We're talking all the way from top to bottom. We have chocolate chip banana bread pudding with drizzle delight. Mm. Someone stop me. I'm gonna have to take a breather a second here. Now this one, this is, there's some, something's going on in here. I wanna taste the whipped cream. You guys learned last time I'm a huge whipped cream girl. So let me try the whipped cream. Just like Sildamente for a second. That's, that's, that's some good whip, y'all. Definitely going to try to get that Thai tea in there. Get that whipped cream. I think this is gonna be a 12 out of 10 bite. It's dense. Like, I said that this was dense. No, no, no. This is dense. This be thick. This be girthy. This be big. It's also pretty, it is pretty heavy. Like, honestly, like, at least half a pound. My little, like, biceps kind of, like, work in here. And it's just holding it really nicely. Like, it's not getting soggy. And it's been sitting here, you know, while I've been eating my amazing other dessert. And it's still, it's still strong. Not only am I amazed about the hospitality today from Chef Barb and all of the workers here, but also just like all of the love that goes into all of these sweets, the thought behind them, the packaging, the care that they're prepared with is just so magnificent. And I truly feel so honored that I was able to be here today and to just experience it all. Today is their first day that they're opening their doors again to the public. Having these sweet and comforting desserts and foods in my belly just make me just smile, make me just like, ah. The life. That is all that we have today from Be Sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you stop by, say hi to Chef Barb, say hi to everyone that works here. Be Sweet is truthfully so sweet. And these over there, everything I've been eating in here were just the eats for today. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and make sure to tune in for next week's video. You never know what's gonna happen in here. Okay, bye.